The pain during and after a breakup can be extremely intense. It can be just as painful as the pain we feel when we lose someone to death. At the same time, on a societal level, we're not so aware of this fact. So for many, the intensity of their feelings after a breakup overwhelms and surprises them. It can be difficult to navigate. In this video, I'll talk about this so that you can make more sense of what you're going through. I want to start out by reading some of the comments to you in an anonymous form that viewers left beneath my other videos discussing breakups that describe the intensity of the pain they're going through. Both the person that got left and the person that broke it off can go through these intense sensations, feelings, thoughts, and experiences. The exact experience you make depends on your unique characteristics as a person, your history with loss, what the relationship was like, how long it lasted, and the circumstances of the breakup. So here we go. I am befuddled. I don't understand what happened. I feel very low. Despite all the difficulties we had, I can't stop thinking about him. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm dry heaving and vomiting. I'm a mess. I tried everything to get her back, and now I feel so overwhelmed by frustration. I really miss her. This breakup killed me inside. I can't stop crying. I keep wondering if this will get better. I'm plagued with resentment and jealousy. My trust is shattered. I keep crying when I hear our song. You miss them so bad you want to hug them, but you know you need to let go. I can't seem to go on. It's so painful. Sometimes I feel better for a while. And then she comes back to my mind with all the good memories we had together. And it breaks my heart again and again. I'm genuinely scared. Four months have passed, and I still cry every day. I struggle so much with self-blame and regret. I feel like all of my hopes and dreams are shattered. It feels like I have a big hole in my heart. I can't believe how much it hurts. It feels like the worst pain I've ever had. I've cried my eyeballs out all night. I texted her nonstop for days and heard nothing back. It's wild how you realize all your baggage after a breakup. It's so hard to pull away emotionally. My pain has been unbelievable. I'm devastated. I'm dead inside right now. I'm just feeling guilty and have started to blame myself for ruining our relationship. You can hear the pain these viewers are describing in their accounts. The reason breakups are so painful is because they touch upon a primal need and a primal fear. Our need for attachment and our fear of abandonment. When we come into this world, our first need is to form a connection with someone who will Make sure that we survive, a primary caregiver. Alone, any infant is lost. And the first fear we experience is the fear of being left alone, abandoned, to die, essentially. It's programmed deep within to our human DNA to respond intensely to abandonment, also as adults. Abandonment sets the stress response into motion, also called the fight, flight, freeze, fawn response. The stress response is mainly governed by the autonomic nervous system, which is the part of our nervous system that's outside of our intentional self-leadership. This is the part of your nervous system that orchestrates your digestion, sleep, immune function, respiratory system, and much more. This means that during and after a breakup, your brain keeps sending signals to activate the stress response, and then your autonomic nervous system takes over. This is what leads to symptoms like difficulties falling asleep, disrupted sleep, nausea, 
difficulties eating and digesting or stronger food cravings, shallow breathing, an increase in your pulse rate and blood pressure, a tendency to startle more easily, and much more. You may not necessarily experience everything that I've mentioned, or you may experience additional symptoms, the way your stress response manifests in your body at this time is open to variation. So if your body feels out of control, that's because the autonomic nervous system has taken over to prepare you for the challenge of going through a breakup. This is your body's natural protection mechanism. And every time your loss sinks in a bit deeper, or you're reminded of the breakup, or you realize another ramification of your loss, the brain sends another wave of stress hormones through your body. And with that, I've only described what's going on physically. Added to that is the mental and emotional burden of the breakup. Sometimes it can also have financial consequences or affect other areas of life. You may need to move or find another job. And if you've had difficult experiences with abandonment in your past, especially in childhood, these wounds can be reopened and make your current experience ever so more painful. The intensity of breakup pain can be just as severe as losing someone because they died. What's different is that someone wasn't taken from you by force of nature, but they made a choice not to be with you anymore, or you had to make the decision to end the relationship. There is an element of intentional choice that can be difficult to process and find closure with. This element can rope you into ruminating about what you could have done differently, or if you made the right choices, you may find yourself wondering, was it my fault? And if yes, to what degree? Another facet that's different from bereavement is personal injury, and this too can be something you go through as both the person that was left and as the person that needed to leave. Relationships that lead to breakups and breakups themselves are often full of personal injuries. Breakups can be very damaging to your self-esteem, especially so if that was something you already struggled with before. Breakups are also more confusing than bereavement because you're not only losing the person, but also the sense of comfort and security of their ongoing love. It's not that nature pulled you apart, but it's a case of losing love. Added to that, in contrast to bereavement, there is still hope of getting back together, even if it's infinitesimal. It's easier to be in denial of your loss or to cling to hope. All of these factors can make it extremely difficult to find closure after a breakup. What you can do for yourself to help yourself go through this intense pain is to activate your inner leader, your self and sense of agency. That way you can guide yourself through this pain without needing to rely on unhealthy emotional coping like Suppression, denial, substance abuse. Guiding yourself starts by making it a point to notice and name what you're feeling and thinking. Notice and name your feelings. This is fear. This is shame. This is nausea. This is irritation. Notice and name your thoughts. I'm having the thought that I ruined my life. Then choose how you want to respond to your thoughts and feelings. What can you do for yourself to help yourself go through this experience? Make time for healthy nutrition, exercise, and time in nature, other forms of self-care, and to connect with friends and family. Downregulate your stress response with somatic exercises like belly breathing and progressive muscle relaxation. Give yourself space and time to feel your feelings so you can metabolize them. Take action in designing the architecture of your thoughts. If you notice a thought like, I'll never get over this, remind yourself, this is temporary. I'll get through this. I want to give myself the time I need. It's natural and universal to experience this pain and to need time to go through it and heal. 
if you refuse to accept the naturalness and universality of your pain, you'll only make it worse by adding more frustration, shame, self-rejection, and more of a sense of having failed. It gets better. And once it does, you may even start feeling room to see the breakup as an opportunity. And if you've been grieving for six months, and it still hasn't improved, I recommend you seek out professional help so that a professional can help you figure out what's blocking your healing. And if you want to seek out professional help before that, that's legitimate and wonderful as well. I also really recommend this workbook by Susan Anderson, the Abandonment Recovery Workbook. I'll add all the details to that in the description box. If you want, feel free to use the comment section to share your experience with other viewers. You might be able to help each other find some relief and further proof of the universality of your experience. Till next time, take care. And remember, your pain is completely justified, understandable, and it's temporary. <laughs>